does seem like the off-roading paid off. We, You will not believe what we had to go through to get here because we didn't realize that there was an easier way in. But, ah, hello. Very happy to see all these girls and all of the cubs around here. Now the impala at the back have been giving them a bit of trouble because it seems like only now they realize that there's 11 hungry lions <laughs> very close to them. And they have been alarming and going psh, psh. so i don't know if that's you can hear it in the background but the lions are definitely not bothered by it i mean look at that happy pride all sleeping down i wonder if tumba has been looking at lions lately because he was sleeping exactly like this lioness and funny enough i had never seen a leopard sleep like that until yesterday most of them sleep like this other cat over here and it is quite hot out in the sun, so I am surprised to see them still here rather than moving further into the shade. But as Seb was pointing out, it seems like there is a bit of a hole somewhere in there where they are, where he was busy looking and it's almost like it's sucking in some of the lions. So I wonder if perhaps that sandy patch is a bit cooler and that's why they've all decided to stay there. So all the females out pretty much in the sun and just three cubs all the way in the shade, right over there. But they are hiding behind the bushes, so it's not a great view of them, unlike this circle of lions we've got. They're also feeling very, very sleepy, this ones. I think just the one is looking at the impala. CJ, you're saying they're, they're so beautiful. We completely agree. I think this pride always looks healthy, even when they look hungry. So... The fact that there are a few impala around and then we've seen tracks for giraffe coming this way and some more zebra tracks. It's now what was that? I can't see anything behind us, but they've clearly spotted something that got all of their attention. So can you see anything behind no, you? Just mm -mm. So just impala, but interesting. What have you girls seen? It's definitely not us. I think perhaps they spotted or they realized there was a potential prey not too far from here. And whatever it was, we couldn't even hear it. But you see how amazing this was. They went all from being very, very sleepy to suddenly awake and into stalking mode. We've got, we can't move around all too much. We've got one of them just behind us, so we're gonna try and have a bit of a closer look at what she's looking at once they all move around a little bit. Steph, you're saying that maybe it's a male coming towards them. Um, it could be a possibility, however, just Judging by their look, I'm more inclined to, to think that perhaps they've spotted a prey. It is quite interesting. Just the females and one of the cubs looking in that general direction. I think this is a very good example of why you can never uh, underestimate a sleeping pride of lions. We thought that they were completely fast asleep and even when we arrived they didn't even wink an eye at us, not even looked at us and all of a sudden something in their natural world that they definitely smelt or heard that got all of their attention and all of a sudden poof 11 lions woke up just like that. I can still hear the impala in the distance, so I wonder if maybe that's what she's after. Because, so we've got this female over here that she is busy looking in the direction of the other female and just in the direction where the impala are alarming and she's looking very intently. So I think maybe she's just waiting to figure out what it is that the other female's gonna get up to before she decides if it's worth it or not getting up and moving. Very interesting. Oh, okay, well we've got one of them that has decided that this is clearly not worth her time <laughs> and gone back to sleep. 
Um, I don't know, is she, is she still behind us? Yes. Okay, so I'm not gonna move because she is literally right behind us. Sorry guys, so we can't really turn around and, and show you. It's going to, because if we move, we might um, get in the way of any possible reaction that might happen either from the leopard or from the from the leopard from the lion or from the prey species so we're just going to stick around here and stay put to see how it plays out justin you say it's almost like they sleep with one eye open it is indeed and i think their fantastic sense of hearing and smell played a very definitive part in what we just saw while they were all sleeping down and like we said in just one split of a second 11 lions got their head up and started looking very intently in a certain direction so it's also good in clear indication that they're all hungry they're all looking for food and i think that's probably their their main focus or that has been their main focus in the last few days but as you can imagine with six cubs that are growing and they're becoming bigger and bigger every day then their hunting requirements are going to become pretty much just as big as these lions it's not easy to feed so many lions all together so i think that's probably why last winter they targeted buffalo it was a perfect prey species for so many of them and to try and get the little ones to to get up to shape although we had the incident with the white muscle disease where the buffaloes that they were eating were actually not that healthy and it was a bit of a problem for them this winter and up to this point however i have only seen maybe five buffalo in total so not too many of them the last ones we saw were about two days ago Oh, okay. Definitely looking at or at the impala in the distance behind us. I think maybe at one point the males were either clashing their horns or making a bit too much noise. And I wonder if it's not perhaps that same herd of impala, that bachelor herd that we saw this morning with the one that was injured. Hmm. Seemed like this little cub had a bit of a limp. I'm not too sure if maybe <laughs> He was just being lazy by walking. Interesting. I think our lions have completely changed priorities now and then whenever there is a good opportunity to hunt, they might just take it. Although if nothing plays out of it and if the impala carry on <laughs> moving away from us, then I think likely they'll go back to sleep and try their luck a little bit later once it's darker and cooler and they can move around for a little bit more. But also when they've got that perfect cover of darkness to camouflage their, their movements. They've been raving, you're wondering if they were ever split uh, if they will ever split into two prides. It does happen when the prides are very, very big and you start having way too many um lions in the same group that they split for some time so that they're able to fully satisfy their hunting needs and nutritional needs. I have seen it before where very big prides that the the best example I can think of is the southern pride. At one point they were just about 28 lions in between cubs and bigger cubs and uh, females and the one male that was pretty much the one that sired all that all those cubs and there was a smaller group of fem two females I think that used to spend some time away and then come back and you know there will be others females missing so it does happen that when the prides get a bit too big and uh, their territory is not big enough for them that they'll start moving around or that they'll start splitting up seems like there's somebody that's coming to join us Sorry guys, I've just got to speak on the radio. Alright, seems... There's like... Somebody coming to join us. But I think maybe the excitement of the Impala has up to an extent passed. Seems like they're all quite... Still 
excellent and looking in that direction. Hi. No, that's hundreds. They were just looking at some in Pala that were in that direction, so they've literally just woken up all of them. <laughs> I think they tried, but they haven't come right just yet because they're all looking a bit skinny. So I think maybe why, because those Impala were alarming now, maybe that's why they thought they could go and have a look. Yeah, it seems, however, that they have decided that this is probably, <laughs> this is probably it. Leslie, you're wondering if I can see the lioness with the wound. Um, I can't from where I am standing, and I don't know if you're referring to, to that um, puncture wound that one of the lionesses had on her back, but I can't see anything from here for now. But I'm sure we will stick around for a little while, and then we will have a look. I have a feeling, however, that the lioness with the wound is the one that we've been looking at, the one that was got her head up but didn't start moving just judging by some scratches that I see on her leg. So if we do see it, then we'll let you guys know how, how she's doing, if it's probably improved or not, but for now it seems that whatever it is, it's not too bad as they have been moving quite a distance. I'm not too sure if they had a bit of a limp when they were moving, because on <laughs> the last few times I've seen them, they've just been pretty much like this. We, it's getting quite hot over here, so while we patiently wait for these lions to get up, let's go over to Taylor, who's managed to find herself a dam. I wonder if she's going to go try swimming in it. <laughs> 